Good morning, everyone. Let me get out my notes here because people my age have a little trouble with memory sometimes. There we go. Did I mention that people my age have a little trouble with memory sometimes? The pledge is important. It is a very important part of the uh, whole you, you, milieu here. And I would like to tell you what brought me to the UUs. And I actually became a member back in 99, I think it was, but it was some 20 years earlier that I had my first contact uh, with the Universalist Unitarian Church. And that was through a friend of mine. We were both heavily into libertarian politics at the time. And he said, I, I would like to, you know, talk to the people at the church about uh, libertarianism. And being a uh, election year, I said, yeah, let's do it. So we went, and of course, I was a little, little nervous at the time, uh, being new to the libertarian movement and being absolutely raw to the U UUs. So what, what I found was a group of people who... Oh, let's see, what's a good way to put it? We're good listeners. They were willing to accept different points of view and uh, uh, very cordial to us. Okay, fast forward 15 years. Now I, am, I have a five-year-old daughter and I'm looking for a church. I'm looking for a church that won't be heavy on dogma, that will be a little more liberal uh, toward things and she and I began regularly attending this church. And what, what I found was, uh, you know, looking at the UU principles and beliefs, it was the one thing that appealed to me was the logic of it. One God seemed logical. A God whose creations would never be condemned to an eternal damnation struck me as logical. A God that wants us to coexist despite our differences very logical. And the people who hold these beliefs, I found people who think, people who ask questions and don't rely on prefab answers, people who span the religious spectrum from traditional worshipers to hardcore atheists. In short, I found a home. As we were coming back from uh, New Mexico last year, where my wife and I went through Missouri, and I, there was a billboard that someone had taken out. And it said that uh, uh, freedom of religion doesn't mean freedom from religion. I told my wife that I beg to humbly disagree or words to that effect. If the founding fathers made one thing clear, it was that the option to believe as one con one's conscience dictated was the only way to avoid certain nasty incidents like the Hundred Years' War or the Crusades. And the UU's faith in their fellow humans, not only is it the best way to get through life, it's the only way to get through life. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle put it nicely when he spoke through Sherlock Holmes and said, you know, once you have eliminated the impossible, whatever is left, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Very logical. 